Welcome back now for the news in detail. We start from Sudan, where the ruling military and opposition alliance have agreed to form a joint transition council to rule the country for three years. The power-sharing formula was agreed after two days of negotiations. Both sides have agreed to periodically rotate the controls of the council. More in this report. Thousands of people of all ages took to the streets, chanting victory slogans as news of the agreement broke. Young men beat drums, people honked their car horns in rhythm, and women waved Sudanese flags. African Union envoy Mohamed Hassan Labad said the new council has agreed upon an independent investigation into recent violence. They have also decided to postpone the establishment of a legislative council. The two sides have also agreed on establishing a sovereign council by rotation between the military and civilians for a period of three years or slightly more. Deputy Head of the Military Council Mohammed Hamdan Dagalo thanked the AU and Ethiopian mediators for their efforts. We also thank our brothers in the Forces for Freedom and Change for the good spirit. This agreement will be comprehensive and will also reach up to ambitions of the Sudanese people and its pure revolution. Opposition leader Umar al digair congratulated Sudan's people. This agreement opens the way for the formation of the institutions of the transitional authority, and we hope that this is the beginning of a new era. Sudan has been born by political unrest since pro-democracy protesters forced President Umar al-Bashir in April.